Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog channel. Just so you can know what a high maintenance person my husband is, he has a pack of three sets of glasses. Um, and he goes, I need another set so I can have one for your car, one for my car, one for the house, and a few to lose. Because he loses, like, I don't know, everything. Is there anybody else? No. Wouldn't you say you lose a lot? That is true. He breaks sunglasses. The ocean eats his sunglasses. Did you see they changed the realtor again? No, it's still. Can I say the name or is that? No, it's not. Oh, well. That's still that place that's right over in North Carolina. Oh, is it? Yeah. Are their signs that's, different? Yeah, they need to put a new sign. There's up. these people that live near us. They put their house up for sale. What? Once every six months? Leave it on the market for a month, then take in, it down? In the last five years that you and I have been together, roughly mm -hmm. it's they put it up for sale at least once every year mm -hmm. and it depends like one year they left it up for like eight months and they don't they ever don't leave this price. house up for a long time and every time they put it back up for sale it's a different realtor so here's the bad thing the house is massive like one of probably one of the biggest houses on our road got a huge garage like a double or triple garage they have this house listed for over half a million dollars um so it's over half a million dollars and i think the house could sell for half a million dollars if it was up to date but this house is like purely frozen in time everything is like brown paneled wood they still have like green carpet in some places and pink toilets and floral 80s wallpaper and like blue carpet like that that really bright bright blue carpet the house literally looks like it's frozen in time like frozen in the early 80s early 80s if not 70s it just looks like when they it looks like that house they have not changed anything. they haven't changed anything and they're selling the price, the house for so much money that someone would then have to turn around and put easily because of the structural issues that they have, like three hundred thousand dollars worth up, if if not a little bit more, into this house to bring it up to date with current trends. Nobody's gonna buy the house for the price they have it listed at nobody and that's they think it's the realtor i don't know if they think it's like the way that people are going about selling it i don't know if anyone wants to look them in the face and say this house is not going to sell like this like it is frozen in time and someone would have to put so much money in it that it's not worth it i don't i, I think they love the inside i think they think it looks just so perfect but that's why that house can't sell and it's a gorgeous house it's gorgeous property i mean beautiful uh the pool's nice. I mean, the house is laid out very well if everything was just up to date, but yeah. <sighs> I just tell you about this morning. Oh my gosh, okay, so I woke up this morning and had a crick in my neck. Really, really bad crick. And so I had to lay in bed with a tins unit on one of these like things, you know, that has the little patches. These are just laying on my bed because they're not sticky anymore. <laughs> um, so my friend asked me to be her bridesmaid yesterday. Her bridesmaid yesterday, the cutest way ever. It's this little like burlap bag. And it says, Mariah, will you be my bridesmaid June 27, 2020? Well, she forgot, like we forgot to take a picture. So she was like, I'll come in the morning and take a picture. Well, because I laid in bed and wasn't paying attention, it was like she was about to come up here and she had to go to church. So we had to rush and I had to get ready in like six minutes. So we go outside, take the picture, the pictures are cute. And then she left her purse here. So I just had to run through the yard. Her brother is my neighbor, but like my neighbors are all far. So I ran through the yard barefoot with her purse and now I'm tired. I haven't even had a first cup of coffee. Hey guys, so we are, uh, <laughs> um, oh my gosh, I just got another email from Estee Lauder. They've sent me 12 emails today. It's really annoying. Oh, what? Um, the same email, they've like sent it, I don't know if their servers like quadruple, 
sending out bulk email. I don't know. Um, so we are friends. I was napping a little while ago. Sundays are my nap days. Um, they messaged us. They're like, what are y'all doing tonight? And we we're like, nothing. They said, want to go to the lake? And I jumped up and I was like, yep. So we're going to the lake now. We're actually going to uh, Dollar General now. We got to grab some chips. And then we're going to go ahead to the lake and spend the afternoon with them. And then tomorrow we're going to my grandparents' lake on Lake Greenwood. I decided that I'm not going to um, upload this vlog. Usually we do our vlogs on Monday and Friday. I'm going to do... God, this light right here always gets right there. Um, this vlog's going to go up on Tuesday. And the same day that I have a main channel go up, main channel video go up, this one will go up. Just because I don't want to be stuck editing tonight. Um, and then, you know not get footage tomorrow and you were looking for that I, know, I, I totally forgot about it we'll I see think we left it at Stevens on the way down there we'll see if we can you need to like make an inventory list of all the things that you think you have left at Stevens and I you, know need to, still in his truck. you need to go figure that I out haven't, I haven't seen him like he's walked up to the house or I've walked down there but like we haven't really done anything we haven't gotten in a car yeah he, the other day he Basically. said he was going to go play with that group down in Roebuck and when I got home from work, he was still at the house, so I know he didn't leave to go there either. Well, um, you can get one at Dollar Journal. Uh, we got a whole dang bucket full. Well, of that's your fault. Oh, well, so, um, yeah, we just <sighs> gotta go hang out with some friends today. I love when I just like <laughs> off work. I've actually gotten a lot done. I've got two videos of my three, there's a cop up here, two of my three videos filmed that I'm gonna film this week. And then this one's on track if we're gonna upload it on Tuesday. And then I got a blog post finished. Stay trooper. Stop. He literally had his like little glasses down like this, doing this to his phone. We have a friend who's a cop. He is Spartanburg County. And hearing the stories, you guys. I'm guessing this is the one we're going to. Yeah. We'll uh, cops and nurses and teachers. They don't get paid enough. <laughs> All amazing people sent from the heavens above to take care of us. Because let me tell you, the girl we're going to hang out with, her and her husband now, she's a teacher. Her stories, oh my God, I could never be a teacher. Uh, one of our friends, she works in the hospital. The stories that they have, I mean, just even like, just like the stuff that he said, like the people, he arrested a guy that was pantsless one time. Pantsless. And was...
Okay, so we just got back from the lake. I just said vet. Um, and I'm gonna close this vlog out here because I have so much work stuff to do tonight. It's crazy and we, like we work tomorrow like normal. So this vlog's gonna go up tomorrow along with a main channel video, but I need to exfoliate my lips. So I wanted to show you guys that. Um, this is brown sugar. And I don't ever really like use an exact recipe. I just kind of feel it out and see how it is. I also use Kapari coconut melt. I'll link everything in the description bar below. And then um, organic honey. So I just kind of mix it together. And then I'm gonna make a lip scrub. And um, it exfoliates your lips, which is really good for them. Just like you exfoliate your face, you have to exfoliate your lips too. Okay, so I'm going to start out It's a little bit gross, um, but it's really good for your lips. So then I'll just take it. It's kind of gross. I'm not gonna lie. So I just spend a few seconds doing that. I already feel so much better. It's really good for your lips to get that dead skin off. And then just like how you exfoliate and then put moisturizer on your face, you have to do the same with your lips. Feels so good. All right, guys. So we are going to spend our night doing this. Him playing video games, me doing vlog stuff. And dog, just being dog. Yeah. All right, guys. We will see you on Friday. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> God. See you. Never done the peace sign until we started the vlog channel.